How's it going guys? It's Beer here, hope you're all good. So today is a pretty cool day. Me and Dave are going to go to Abbey Road Studios in London. Of course you know where it is. Uh, and we're going to go and get the new door JP, Centered and One, uh, mastered for vinyl. So I'm going to take the camera along. thought it would be interesting to see what's going on there. And uh, it's going to be a cool experience, so I thought I'd share it with you all. Thought you'd also like to know that we're using Flex to master this EP for vinyl. Uh, all you audio files out there, don't be worried. Dave's here. Did you pick me up. How's it going? Good. I'm excited. Yeah. I'm very excited. What do you reckon is going to be the biggest difference that you'll hear immediately when they do the whole mastering for vinyl thing? Uh, that's kind of a, that's a hard question, I guess. Uh, the low end is going to be different. Definitely. Yeah. Because uh, normally what happens with mastering for vinyl is you have to run the mixture across over. Um, okay. And that basically means, sorry for trying to pull out the junction. Um, He's trying to pull out. Uh, <laughs> yeah, basically, so with uh, vinyl, because it's completely analogue and you've got a needle that's reading a load of different grooves, the needle runs inside the groove and you've got loads of different things and that's basically the push and pull of a speaker and that's how the vinyl works. Um, if there's too much uh, low end, the grooves will be way too big and so they'd run into the next groove along. Because low end so, creates a large sound wave, right? Yeah, the speaker yeah. has to move a lot to make such a, a big... If you think about a bass frequency, it's much bigger than a high frequency. Um, but, but they compensate for that in the kind of power amps and preamps you get for record players, right? Yeah, 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 yeah definitely. Yeah, yeah. Aside from them having to attenuate certain frequencies below a range that would create the groove to be too big. Yeah. Um, it is a completely lossless format because it's analog. So it's not go. restricted by bit depth at all. Well there you go. Um, bit depth, depth in general. Uh, obviously we recorded everything completely, uh, well we used a lot of analog outboard and stuff but it, at did. the end of the day it, it was digitally recorded and went to a hard drive so uh, it's not going to be a completely lossless record, as it were. No. But the vinyl itself will be as high quality as it can possibly be, which is, it's going to be a lot more high quality than a CD. There you go. For example. Exciting shit. It is. Woo! So we're on our way into London, and there's a security dog van in front, but the back door's open. Which makes me wonder, are there any dogs in there? Or did the dog fall out? Or, I mean, I just want to know. Oh God. We're about to get hit by a double-decker. What? What's going on there? <laughs> <laughs> the roads are a dangerous place, people. They are. You, you know, you don't want to take it for granted. It wouldn't be right to come into London and not film driving across at least one bridge. It's true. You know. Over Thames. Over Thames. So this is a weak bridge. This is a handle, what? It's a weak bridge. It can handle seven and a half tons, which I think all of this traffic on this bridge is probably more than. Oh wow. Just saying. In fairness, that is pretty impressive architecture right there. It is, yeah. So I think we are, we're nearly at Abbey Road now. We are indeed the next turning. The next turning. So this is Abbey Road. The question is, was that the zebra crossing? Or was the zebra crossing down here? Oh. Uh, also, where is the studio? Oh uh, yeah, so we need to find the studio. Which I think is on the right somewhere. Okay. I'm gonna turn around. Well there's the, the the infamous crossing. A guy just walked across it in his sh with bare feet. Look. Um. All the signatures. I don't know who these people are. It's a, it's a basketball team. Yeah. 
What is that, Dave? What is it? Studio Real to Real. It's just gear. Just loads of gear. Loads of gear. State. This is where the vinyl will be cut. Those are some mighty large speakers. Yeah. Be happy to know they're powered by Bryston. Are they actually powered by... Oh, you've got one of them. I do. Just the one, it weighs a ton. Those are some... Th that looks like five uh, audio files. Mm -hmm. That would yeah. be them. Those are the 32-bit 48K. Yeah, that's the right. This little screen here. That's a oscilloscope. A oscilloscope? Yeah, it just shows the right and difference. Oh, right. How you doing, Tony? Wonderful. We're good? Warm. You excited? Rocking my summer look. You are? Very excited. You got the shorts on? It's going to sound incredible in here. It is going to sound incredible. We get to listen through, don't we? Yeah. Oh, my God. But the thing is... I can't show you all. I can't do that, I'm afraid. Because it's not out yet. Is it? It's not out yet. No, it's, it's not. not. It's not out. I look really red. Do you? Well, there's a big red wall behind you. Yeah. The Tony is about to tuck into an Abbey Road sandwich. Bacon what? and brie. Bacon and brie? Yeah. Abbey Road's rolling in <laughs> class. <laughs> Door J just crashed Abbey Road. Blue screen of death. That's not looking good. It was probably the viruses that I put on the USB stick. Well done. We are nearly about to press record, or well, we're nearly about to start printing, aren't physically, we? Physically cutting the vinyl. How do you feel about it, Dave? I feel I feel good and slightly tired. Good and slightly good. tired. Yeah. Well, it's an exciting time. It's it an is. exciting time. First vinyl I've ever been on. <laughs> Enthusiastic much? <laughs> So that, that's what the vinyl looks like before it's all green. Oh yeah. Let me let me just have a quick. This isn't vinyl. This is an aluminium disc. You might just be able to see the metal in the middle there. Oh yeah. Coated in nitrocellulose. It's like semi-dry paint. That's the same stuff that they put on Fender Strats. Is it? Nitrocellulose, although it's illegal in California now to use that on that's guitars. Made in California, so you really? can you can use it, but the the emissions at the plant are all very tightly controlled. Wow. So that's a fresh master that's a fresh disc. Fresh lacquer. Yeah. yeah. Which is the master starts on this. Wow. Oh, I'm excited. Right. I'll do it. This is bigger than a normal, normal record. This is 14 inches. Right. So I'll do a little test cut on the edge here. Just check it all looks right. Okay. If it does, we're going to go for it. That's just after cut. I'll show you a good example. Watch if they do this. I tap the machine. Okay. Right. <laughs> you hear that? You just wrote that onto yeah. the. Now watch this. Ah! <laughs> if you shout at the head while it cuts, it actually vibrates it enough. Oh my god. Yeah. That's incredible. So don't be shouting at it when we're cutting your record. No. Unless but... you want a noise and run out groove. <laughs> yeah. I did how the client did that once. I mean that's that's F loud. Yeah. If we played your album at that level, we'd be deaf. That's the recording style that's there in there. Oh right, okay. So you've got to think of what comes out of the speakers as sound waves are just wavy grooves on here. Yeah. So the shape of the groove and the, sort of the speed at which it moves around is totally related to what the music is doing at that point. So this bass is going to go quite slowly, laterally, left to right. Right. Mid-range, so you know, like guitars and snare drums and mm. voices, pretty quick. And HF, high frequencies, mm -hmm. you know, hi-hats, tambourines, bloody fast indeed. I mean, if you had a 10 kilohertz component within a tambourine, that means this has to vibrate 10,000 times a second to record it in the disc. <laughs> So if you were to take that acceleration of going zigzag 10,000 times a second, mm. 
stick it in a straight line, you'd be on the moon in about 10 or 15 seconds. You know, it's, it's unbelievable. That's, that's why they're cutting that half <coughs> speed. It, makes, it, it makes stresses easy. it less. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So that there, that is what's going to cut our vinyl. You ready? Yes. It's a real high tech bit coming up now. You're going to watch this. You're going to love this. Ready? There you go. How about that? <laughs> You've got to make sure the waste product goes up the pipe because it's very volatile. Here we go. We're discussing what to etch on the vinyl. Uh, the... Well, we could just put Dave. Yeah. I think Dave. Management suggests Dave. As if. I mean, talk about favouritism. It's not okay. Beer then. <laughs> Let, let's put everyone yeah. but Ben. <laughs> we just put beer and Dave. Beer and Dave. Dave was here. Was <laughs> <Wazir>. here. 2K16. <laughs> Fam. Ah. Dorje <laughs> fan. Spent the whole afternoon trying to convince a friend to come, realised he didn't have a ticket, so then felt bad that he came away from Kent to have to go to a ticket hotel, spent 120 quid on getting a ticket for him just so he could come in. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's embarrassing. So there we go, we're done. We officially mastered our brand new EP at Abbey Road. Dave, how was that? Did you enjoy it? I did enjoy it. Was, was it worth coming to London? It was a cool experience. The oh wait, was horrible. we need to walk across the road. Um, yeah, I guess we do. We absolutely need yeah. to walk across the road. They probably hate every single pedestrian. I'm going to do POV. Look at that. Yeah. Dave. <laughs> we saw that person walking over here like barefoot. I don't know whether that was just to <coughs> recreate the record or whether they thought that they were walking over the exact tarmac. He was getting a bit I pale on it. I to believe that that is the exact same paint and tarmac that was originally there. But uh, it is the same area, I'll give him that. Yeah. Oh well, there that you go. Was, that was cool. So uh, that was a wicked experience and really excited to get all the physical vinyls. Yep. They will be available in due course. The EP is going to be available at the end of... I don't actually know, I'm not allowed to say. Ah! Dave was so, so happy to be here that he wants to do it again. So he's asked me to film him. I think he wants this as his Facebook trailer. Hmm? What?